Um, and, uh, jump to Argus. Uh, um, you, you say you're playing as consistently well as you have done. Do you think you... N- how much do you need to, when you look around this squad now and we think about young, attacking English players, I'm thinking Foden, I'm thinking Saka, I'm thinking players who aren't even, you know, maybe in the squad. I mean, just how exciting do you think fans should be to see the array of act- attacking talent they've got? So excited. I mean, why would you not be? Look at the players we have in the team. It li- literally is so exciting. Playing at such a high level and everyone's doing it consistently. Um, I think you could look all over the pitch and we're just we're just elite in every position, and that's what you want. And especially as a fan base, you get to you know come and watch that um, at Wembley all the time. That's that's what you want. When you look around, so which, when you look at other teams, you see what the likes of those players I've mentioned are doing. It must give you an extra source of pride to think actually you know I've, I've got into this squad even when you look at some players who maybe don't. Yeah. Does because no one now. How hard it is to get in this team because of the level. Um, when I get got called up, it made it a bit that bit more special because it sort of told me that you know I really am having a good season and I've been consistently good enough to to get in the team, which, like you said, is full of elite elite players at the minute. Hi, right, Nick. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, you. You took us inside. You sort of when you got the text and you you shared a moment with uh, with Kieran Trippier. Can can you share a bit more about? Um, your moments with your family and, and how you how you broke the news to them, their reaction, etc. Well, again, I, I couldn't really I couldn't really wait. I'm not very patient, so I just text them, um, and then like I said, I had to go and train. So it's just I was just full of excitement, and it was playing on my mind. But yeah, just when I got home and I got to actually see the faces, I could see how proud he was and stuff. Um, and it was just a, a good moment to share with them. I was I was so happy. Were they, were they, I, I, I'm sure you were emotional, but I guess they were just as emotional as you were. Yeah, they were probably more than me because, like I said, my goal sort of changed as soon as I got called up. But um, they look at the the whole picture and just see how, how good it is to, to play for your country. So they were just so happy for me. Of course. And just one more. Obviously, you've come into this into this squad. You must be in the absolute cloud, as, you, as you've mentioned. You're on cloud nine. But you also come into a squad that is entering the sort of the business end of, of the season of the tournament in in two or three months. So how quickly have you picked up that sense that, you know, you've got to, you know, you're not here for a holiday. This is, yeah, you achieve something, but you're here for an end, an end product, an end goal. Yeah, it's very very clear to see that it's a winning environment. You know, everybody's here to win. We're not interested in anything else with the team we've got, the manager we've got. There should only be one goal. Um, and it's very clear to see that just from, from being around the lads and that's only going to make me better. So I'm just trying to, take up as much of that in as possible. Thank you, Sammy. Okay, Matt, did you have one to finish? Yeah. Thanks. Hi, Anthony. We've spoken a few times at the under-21 level. You've uh, you, you put, in the, uh, put in the hard yards and played at the small stadiums and, uh, and you've travelled all over the place um, to, you know, to be a key part of England long-term. Um, your, your first call-up wasn't until under-18s level? Yes, correct. Is that right? Are any of those players um, good friends of yours from years and years in this squad? And can you tell them about your oldest relationships with the England teammates? Well, I played with Bakayo um, very young. I think that might have been 17s, 18s. I can't really remember when, but yeah, I think Bakayo may be the only one from that team in this team currently. Um, but we also have some, some very good players who may, may get in the squad in the future. But I think Bakayo is the only one. And we actually spoke about it the other day just how, how far we've come and it's, uh, it's a great achievement for both of us. He's, he's gone on to do amazing things um, and I'm just coming in the squad now. So it's been really good to, to see that journey. How, how does the squad feel for you as, a, as a, one of the younger players, but mm. still not the youngest, um, and, but this, the, the balance between those old heads and, and the younger players? I think there's a great balance. Uh, we, like I said before, we've got some, some really good leaders and the important thing is the maturity of the, the young lads. Um, I think that's that's second to none. All the all the lads under sort of 24, 25, act like the 30, and that's the important part because then everyone's on a, a level playing field and everyone can be a leader in their own right. Uh, final one for me. How 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 have you got here? What is it that you've done that's meant that you've made this step and you've managed to progress and progress and get to this stage? Because it's hard work and lots of other things. It's hard work and most importantly resilience. Because there's a lot of ups and downs in football. It's, it's a roller coaster. One minute you're on top of the world, the next minute you can be 
in a bad position. So you just got to stay level throughout um, and believe in yourself, no matter what happens to you, that you're going to prevail. And that's the mindset I have, and I always back myself. So I think that's that's what's got me here. Thanks, everyone. Cheers for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.